Hey everyone, Sophia here from my great challenge. Yes, nothing has changed. It's still a great challenge. Welcome back to my channel and the beginning of the new year. Happy new year, everyone. It is 2018 and I'm still cleaning. Right, so I'm starting a new series, starting on the same food as always this year. We are cleaning and decluttering. I'm going to spend the month of January really, really deep cleaning the house. Um, even though I've been doing the fly lady consistently, except for the last month, you can tell from the mess in the kitchen. I would say the house is way more organized and clean than it's been in the past. However, we still have very bad habits in this house. And if you are like me, you don't put things away, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So for those of you who have perfect homes and do things the way they're supposed to be done and never have any clutter and all of that, this channel is not for you. This is for the rest of us who are constantly struggling with the same challenges. The same stuff keeps resurfacing. The same crap ends up on the counters in the kitchen and it just is never ending. So welcome to my great challenge and let's get inspired. Let's work together in getting our house clean and organized. I'm not going to say once and for all because let's face it there's always going to be relapses the proof right here um and what can we do about it it is what it is we can only just get better and better year after year so we're not looking for perfection we're looking for more functional and we're looking for some kind of peace of mind with regards to the way our house looks because right now i'm not going to make any apologies for the way my kitchen looks let's just face it i've done zero in this kitchen in the past three weeks and I'm not apologizing. <laughs> I'm not because it's life. It's real. It's always been what my channel is about. I am showing you real dirt, real life, real challenges, and it is what it is. So episode number one in the kitchen, I am decluttering and cleaning, deep cleaning all the countertops. This is this video. Let's start right now. So I have a crate here that's really meant to be um, on the chair in the counter. And in this crate, I have um, most of the stuff that you guys have sent me that we've been munching on, but truthfully, it needs to be organized. I have a plant, which I believe is getting too big, magazine, dog food. Um, I have some pictures over there and more stuff over here. Yeah, leftovers from the holidays, you guys. Uh, it's only January 6th today. I have pot that needs to be back and things that we purchased for the camera. This needs to be um, cleaned up, but that's going to be another video. Oh, my purse is right here with the iPad in there. Yes, it's belonging in the kitchen, doesn't it? On this side here, what do we have? We have um, a box of cards from you guys that I'm yet to answer. This box was filled up to here, I kid you not, as of last week. I've just mailed about 70, 75 cards. These are the ones that I'm yet to do. So I'm gonna do that at some point. Today my planner is here. Uh, for those of you wondering, because I've had questions, I'm using a Happy Planner. I've had it since September, so it's an 18 month planner. So that's what I've been using, I love it. My computer is here. We got uh, leftover stuff here. So we got some leftover cards there. We got some uh, stuff here, an empty shoe box. We got <laughs> non-fat dry milk, don't ask. Garbage, stuff in the sink stuff over here and then my second camera and all of the cleaning supplies that, that I'm going to use. Right, so what I'm gonna do for this video only, I'm going to do the counters and um, just give it a good clean declutter, remove stuff, put things back where they belong, marry things together, find containers to put things in. The goal here is to really, really pare down on the amount of stuff I have on the counters and that's just going to be this video with a deep clean of the counters as well. I'm separating this series into different parts only because I don't want to overwhelm you with a huge, very, very long video. So it's going to be the counters only for today. In the next video, I'll do the cupboards and you know, the rest of the kitchen will be separated in different videos. I'm definitely going to film probably most of everything today because I have tons uh, it's Saturday and we are freezing you guys it is um, 
six degrees right now Fahrenheit that's minus 11 uh, in Celsius or something like that so it's really really cold there is nothing else to do but clean well I could go and quilt and do something else but I have to do this okay so let me get started we're gonna move things around so I need to empty out this crate first because I really need the crate to put my computer my planner and other stuff and there's just way too much in here so let me do this first things I know I don't need is old magazines that I had brought in just for my mom um, she read them she don't care about them anymore uh, bag here I'm gonna keep that downstairs okay so these are work gloves and of course <laughs> there's only three and I'm missing one so where is the other one we'll have to find that okay um, I have a ton of candies and you guys sent me and I absolutely love them. Some of them were already open, but I have to find a place for them because I just can't keep them in the container. So I have this box here, which I um, bought at, where was it? Um, Home Goods, whatever, one of those. And it used to have uh, biscottis and French cookies. So I'm gonna put them in there instead. Do you ever wonder how come things got so bad and you didn't even notice? So I got my crate here with all the stuff I need when I work here. It's ugly as it gets, but that's what I got for now. And this is actually a container of stuff that needs to go back upstairs, either to my bathroom or the office. And I also found sewing stuff. So it's just like stuffed animal. You buy one and then you don't know how, but you end up with a hundred of them. At some point along the way, um, it's way too much stuff. And I'm gonna go as far as saying that this kitchen just got as bad as it used to be. So it's a good thing I'm doing this today because it's just like, wow. I am amazed at the amount of stuff I've had um, behind the counter, on the counter, on the other side. I'm not even finished with that counter where the plant is. I just made a dent in it. And I think I could have a video just on this counter alone. Okay, so these, um, they supposedly, um, I think it's Jenny who sent those to me. Um, they're supposedly for the car, but guess what? I'm gonna use them for dusting. So that stays here. These are delicious. They are um, apricots. I'm gonna keep those. This, I still didn't find the missing glove. The elusive missing glove. So I don't know where it is. Of course, two dads are here and there's only one mom. So obviously my glove is missing, of course. And I'm going to add that to the sort letter box. Okay, what else do we have? Brush that goes upstairs, hat goes in the um, coat closet, magazine, ugh. Already looked at it, it's the latest one. Um, I gotta do the magazine at some point. Putting it in the living room, more chocolates. This goes up on the rack and then the dog food back here i gotta bring it downstairs to the basement i am seeing the light yes i am okay what do we have here uh, dog biscuits i still have enough that little guy stays here and then i have my teapot on the um stand you remember i told you i was gonna buy one so this i gotta find a place for it i don't think i want to keep it on this counter
leave it alone. No. Okay, one bag. Look at the size of this bag. This is just for one counter. So I know what you're gonna say. Oh, Sophia, how could you let your kitchen go so bad over a period of a month? Um, life, <laughs> you know, we live here. We live here, we're not the cleanest people, we're not the most organized people, and this is what happens. So if your kitchen looks like mine, don't feel bad. You live in your house. That's what happens when you live in your house. Um, things happen, and we're very happy. I think you've seen that from many, many videos ago, that we really are happy people. We laugh all the time, we enjoy our lives, and obviously having a clean house and organized house is not a priority for us but you know what there comes a point where you do have to have some kind of order in your home and that's what I'm doing this month or at least this week and the next week um, before I return to my projects like the um, what is it the laundry room I got to get the tiles and I'm gonna tile the floor with linoleum um, and all of that so yes that will come um, next not after this video but I will finish the laundry room but you know there's things that I need to do before that it'd be so easy for me to just not look at this and go about my business and go quilting or do other projects but I really really need to get this house in order because when mom was here we pretty much went out every single day and we were home maybe two three hours um, per day we didn't even have lunch or dinner every single day here we went out pretty much all the time and you saw we had a lot of things to do so the house really at the end of the fly lady nothing the house really fell apart and it's amazing to me how fast a house can fall apart so don't feel bad um don't feel bad for me <laughs> don't feel bad for yourself if your house fell apart and exploded during the holidays it's normal you are regular people you live in your house and things happen so we're not trying to be the perfect people out there who have showcase ready houses at all time um but we do want to manage some kind of chaos so it's not totally overwhelming and unmanageable. You know, I'm really just here to motivate you to clean your house. <laughs> Lord knows I need the motivation because it's uh, it's two o'clock. I've been at it for about two hours and all I've got so far is two counters. I still have the large counter by the uh, other wall and the coffee machine and I'm thinking, how on earth am I going to finish this kitchen today? I don't think it's going to happen. Um, but you know what? I keep pushing and you get the result that you want. To be honest, it's taking me a while because I'm doing all sorts of crazy camera angles here. Yeah, I'm trying to up the game. Okay, um, I gotta do this whole area here and the best thing I can do right now is just, the machine is on, the uh, dishwasher is on. So I'm just gonna clean those by hand and have them dry and then we can move on to the other stuff.
Wow. Okay, it's 2.45. Um, I need to make some lunch. Um, the kitchen is, well, I'm not gonna say the kitchen is done. The counters are down. Um, it took way longer than I expected it uh, to be. But you know what? I did a thorough job. I really got rid of everything I needed to get rid of. I'm not crazy about the crate on the chair, but you know what? I'm using this area as an office and I don't think that's ever gonna change. At least I'm not using the dining room as an office anymore, so this progress, right? Um, otherwise, all the counters are disinfected, everything is put away. I still have a box I need to bring upstairs, uh, but I'm done with this part of my bringing the kitchen back to zero. So I will see you in the next episode. I hope I got you motivated to clean. I got a crumb. Um, yeah, I just had a snack. <laughs> um, so I hope I got you motivated to clean and take care of your home. So doing something like this really doesn't require a lot of effort. You just gotta be organized, like work in a circle. This is how the fly lady does things. You do one area and then you walk around the room instead of going back and forth from multiple areas. And that's pretty much what I did. I targeted specific zones within zone two, which is the kitchen. Um, to do this so it worked for me the kitchen looks really clean right now at least the counters do and that's all I needed to do for now for this particular part now when I see you again I will be doing the cupboards and the cupboards they definitely need to be straightened out in particular the pantry there's way too much stuff in there stuff that you've probably seen me move around for the past year and a half or so so there's a lot of things that's gonna need to get out of here um, that's expired or whatever and then I need to you know kind of like rearrange spices and everything because we did a lot of cooking um because i did a lot of cooking you know for the for the holidays like the two big days we had to do cooking and um so i need to kind of like clean that stuff up so i will see you in the next video give me a big thumbs up if you like this kind of video and enjoy watching me clean uh let me know down below how you feel about the new editing and filming and stuff i'm trying to do something a little bit more dynamic rather than having just a camera on the tripod and just film myself do the same stuff over and over again in one spot i'm trying to make this a little bit more entertaining and fun to watch you notice i've got new music as well it was about time <laughs> i'd switch my music around because we've been playing the same stuff for the past three four years so yeah it was time that i changed music so again give me a big thumbs up look if you really like this kind of video and you feel that your family or your friends are going to like this kind of video don't forget to share my channel subscribe if you are brand new and that would be it i'll talk to you later thanks for watching you guys bye